Cenotaph of the Rima Remnants. I don't know what, what this is, but... Outworlder! We need you! Yeah, I heard. Greetings, Outworlder. We know why you came, and we offer gratitude for your timely assistance. Our situation grows dire. Very few of us still stand, and we can no longer hear those who do. The Dream Carvers must not reach the Crux, but we cannot stop them in our weakened state. You, however, are an unexpected development. <sighs> Dream Carvers swarm our fortress. It is theirs now. While our pact still exists, so do the remnants. Stop clinging to a dead order. We must accept our fate. This mortal can change our fate. <sighs> Stay here. Tend to the stricken. We can understand resistance to giving up. A fighting spirit infuses the remnants to their core. But we see a difference between struggling against the odds and denying your fate. After we fled from the initial assault, we did not heed the call to rally. As our connected minds fell quiet, fear and guilt crept in. We decided to return and survey our fortress. The Dream Carvers have only entrenched further. Dream Carvers roamed the halls of the Cenotaph, seeking a path into the Crux. Resetting the fortress defenses shall be our first task. You can enter through a cave system to the north. We will secure this camp, then meet you inside. Your question confuses us. We told you, we are the remnants. Should we feel concerned that you weren't listening? Ah, now the problem becomes clear. The remnants are a whole. Our minds linked, our experiences shared. So, sort of hive, we hive mind. distinguish individual parts the way mortals do. Speaking in your tongue, the best word to describe us is we. Hmm. Your fingers, do they not form your hand? And your hand, it is part of your body, yes? As is your foot, your legs. These are you. Such it is with us. The remnants are a body. To perceive the parts as separate misunderstands our nature. The Dreamcarver invasion proves our clan has grown weak. If we cannot defend our home, how can we serve the Great Eye? A rift threatens the remnants. Do we attempt to regrow? Or disband entirely, although our power sputters and dims, we still emit a small glow. The remnants are the sword and shield of the eye who sees all. No greater honor exists in oblivion. Our pact with Hermaeus Mora still holds, so we must defend it. All of Apocrypha once knew us. We guarded Hermaeus Mora's most treasured secrets even explored the mortal realm. We were a force unmatched. We aided. It started slowly. Our numbers dropped subtly. We noticed our strength waning as our clan dwindled. The more who left, the weaker we became. A cycle of withering began. Weakness bred deserters, which led to more weakness. We have thought about that for a long while. Those who left claim to lose faith in our Lord, the Eye that wanders. This confused us, but we accepted it. Perhaps if we pushed harder for their return, some of our clan would not call us a dead order. We entered unseen. Come! Let us plan. These caves wind through the Cenotaph's lower levels. Many of our defensive measures originate here and extend through the fortress. The Dream Carvers disabled our wards as they invaded. We must reset them. We will find them north of here. 
they will require both of our efforts to set. You must hold the trigger while we funnel energy into it. Once set, the wards will drive most of the Dream Carvers from the Cenotaph. We may run into Dream Carvers as we search. Do not hesitate to dispatch them with prejudice. Remember, they will reform in oblivion over time. You will not. Let us move north through the tunnels. We will alert you when we find a ward. A time existed when the remnants had no home. We served as wandering knights for our lord. Then, as if flung through the void, this castle landed within Apocrypha. We took this as a gift and soon occupied it. Come, we can recharge this power node. A fire trap should ignite now. That's probably very secret <laughs> book. And a dead bird. Hammer time. Assets of the ritual may tell us something. Fragments of ritual medium. We can learn from that. Or set track against remnants from their order. The stones are due to my vestige. Yeah, because uh, the main character in this game is called Vestige because he or she has like a vestige of the soul and it's uh, quite like Daedric's soul, so that's why, why uh, he can he, he could uh, walk around without so. That is the ritual's core. You alone. 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 Where are they? We are lost. We cannot stand being alone. Dream cover magic squirms through our mind. It wants our secrets. It wants inside. Remnants function as a whole. Why isolate us? Because they are getting power from the unity and numbers. That creature in the hive mind. Earth. She leads these invaders. We know her reputation. Savage and impatient. No wonder she managed to take the cenotaph by force. To use her own vestige as fuel for the ritual presents a massive risk. The walls of the crux cannot break. We connected the locks to the remnant's mental web. Only we may enter unscathed. Uzanath's ritual siphons remnant minds. She blends their psychic energy with her own essence. Hmm. What it means, mortal, is she has crafted a key to the crux. Once she blends enough remnant minds with her own vestige, she will appear as one of us. The crux will open. The pact will be exposed. We search the grounds, find other ritual foci, and destroy them. Steal yourself. Dream carvers roam everywhere. We did not choose our fortress. It arrived when we needed it most. Once, sounds of training and discussion echoed through the halls. As our numbers dwindled, the cenotaph fell quiet. Uzenath steals our defining feature. The thing that makes us remnants. Our mental web. The connection that binds us. We believe it is more than a means of sharing knowledge. It amplifies yeah, I knew us. It. Think of the power nodes we charge. Our pact with Lord Mora is the kernel from which the remnants' gifts emerge. Our mental web amplifies those gifts. The more who are connected, the stronger we become. To isolate us from it is savagery. The remnants keep watch on many of the other clans. Our calling is the defense of Apocrypha, after all. We once had agents across more realms than a mortal's mind can hold. Perhaps we can regain that reach once more. Here, 
We will guide you through the next steps. Place the relics where I tell you. Once complete, our power shall flow through them. Hurry, our power wanes. We can feel it. Unless this is Batman Gambit and uh, our enemies actually expecting us to do that. We use the gathered relics. Once placed, our power shall bind them together. They will connect to what remains of the remnant's mental web. The resulting mesh will open the crux. We shall open a door like any other. You will have no problem entering. That said, once inside, we must close the door behind us. Otherwise, we risk a swarm of dream carvers joining us within. Before, place the relics while we channel our power through them. To pierce the void and see our promise held. To bind us all through ancient wisdom. We opened the way. Enter the crux, Outworlder. The crux. Wait. Our connection. We have gone silent. Destroy her. Protect all we have left. The remnants need this to remain a force in Apocrypha. Okay, it's a boss fight. It's empty. You, remnant! There's nothing here! Trickery? I shall take your mind. or something. Pact of the Remnants. It's empty. There's no pact. Or... Is there? Follow. We must think. What does this mean, mortal? We need your guidance. So, basically, mortals can actually do a pact. Uh, and Daedra can do a pact each, with as each other. As far back as we can recall, the Remnants believed we directly served Hermaeus Mora. Our connection to him drove us to defend his will. Perhaps that was a lie. The pact was nothing. A shattered plane with a rotting book. Further, where does our power come from? We cannot say. Now, we must decide. Do we tell the remnants of our discovery? It would surely destroy us. Or do we use the victory okay, to Okay, so it's, it's not explained. Show that Apocrypha still needs our defense. So it's like, it's just a, we can end, end the quest like we want. This must mean your power is your own. You should rebuild the remnants. Your clan is built on a lie. Of it to end, disband the remnants. Let's re rebuild the clan. Point. Our goals do not need to come from some external source. We can reinvest in our purpose on our own. Perhaps others will join out of a desire to gather knowledge instead of to serve another. 
We feel more certain than ever about our task. Our clan will gather and discuss how to prioritize. The cenotaph of the remnants will become the sword and shield of Hermaeus Mora once again. It's only through your efforts that we have a chance to rebuild. The remnants will rise again and last for eternity. All thanks to you. This outcome was unexpected. Nonetheless, you earned this. We offer it in gratitude. What comes next feels mysterious. Perhaps the others will have an idea on how to proceed. Until then, you have our gratitude, Outworlder. May we fight alongside each other again in the future. We shall rebuild. Our order may have seemingly collapsed, but perhaps we can rebuild stronger. We will create a more solid foundation. We still believe in serving Hermaeus Mora. The task is still worthwhile. We feel rededicated. Okay. They have emerged and unharmed. What fate comes for our order then? See what we have done. The Cenotaph stands. Our order can rekindle its strength. This proves it. Our gifts return and we hear our thoughts once more. Perhaps the remnants can still serve. We cannot argue with the facts before us. Remnants struck down by the dream carvers now wake. We can hear each other once again. Lord Mora sent us a test. Only he can know our fate, and we should not try to divine it. Our task is service and faith. This is pretty interesting story uh, to include Daedra that, okay, they, they have their own beliefs. Uh, they might live forever, but they sh still don't know the secrets. They don't know the truth. It's it's on, on the po point of view, really, which is uh, always the core narrative of Elder Scrolls, which is uh, uncertain witness. So they are not certain where their powers came from, but they are like, uh, they have belief system to support it. Give, give it a meaning. The lost time. Hyper. Ah, okay, it's there, so we can actually jump from the left or right side, rather. Yeah, yeah I have been asking uh, jumping missions for the Elder Scrolls Online. Okay, that wasn't much of a jump. Yeah. But full speed worked. Quite a bounty. I'm glad I don't have to carry it. Wow, you don't come by those too often. Song of Fate. This seems like a quest place. What's an arcanist? A book G of the tormenting eye. But now I'm going to. Attend, mortal. It's a bit horny. Your arrival could mean not all is lost. We require aid. The eternal hum of knowledge fades within our sanctum. Creatures of ignorance invade the apogee of the tormenting eye. They come to consume Dremnikin. Uh. Our order, the remnants, gathers knowledge. These beasts consume it. Huh. They breached our wards, burrowing into the apogee. That's like a relics from across a pyromaniac in the, in the library. We must drive them out. You've arrived to aid us.
Why else would the Eyeball place you here now? Be certain. The remnants reward service. A simple task. Recover the relics before the Dremnik can find them. Close the beast's entry portals. Then activate the Apogee's protective wards. Help us. Take this room. It will draw you to our most powerful relics. As you find Dremnik and portals, use the room to collapse them. Once completed, reset the ward at the peak. Now go, Agent of Fate. Ascend the Apogee. We shall await your return. This is pretty okay in, in this uh, DLC that these, uh, you can mention that, hey, I, I helped those guys over there. Yes, we know. So few survived that assault. Eventually, the vestiges who the Dream Carvers cut down will reform and return to Apocrypha. Until that time, our gifts remain weak. In any event, we are grateful for your effort. Take this rune. The Apogee is a vault for items of arcane interest. At its center lies the Shrine of the Tormenting Eye, one of Hermaeus Mora's famed black books. It is currently off serving his divine purpose. Once, many considered this place to be impenetrable. Dremnikin are pests. They have tested our defenses since the Apogee's construction. If one discovered a faded ward or a crack in our dimensional shielding, it would slip in. Others could follow, further widening the breach. Interesting. Okay. The ritual drained our strength. Join us outside once your task is completed. Yeah. I will have my face. Okay. Spawn. And that's why you play Dunmer. Ouch. Come on. I'm still here. You emerge. Come, speak. No need to tell us of your exploits, mortal. We can hear. Though still faint, the hum of knowledge steadies. The threat has passed. Before we conclude, return the relics you secured. We can no longer trust the Apogee to protect these items. It weakens and will fall. Your efforts give us time to relocate the secrets within. Take this reward. Your service has concluded. Tormenting robes. Although the remnants must abandon this place, do not think your efforts a waste. Staunching a wound is the first step toward recovery. Our clan will clear out any invaders still left, then begin transporting the Apogee's wisdom to a new home. We assume you refer to the Hushed, unfortunate creatures who arrive from your realm the mortal mind was not meant to hold the blessings of Lord Hormaeus Mora. 
They transform into the beings you saw. A cautionary tale. The shrine protected our wares. The unified strength of the remnants kept it alive. Perhaps as we waned, so did the protective wards. We may need to concentrate our efforts in one location. Much easier to watch for thieves that way. This, this reminds me uh, a bit of the Deadlands, but then again, I think the main lead designer in this DLC was uh, the guy who joined during the development of Deadlands, so it, it might have a Deadlands feel just because. But apparently their group is now centered on developing uh, Deadex stories. Which is interesting thought. I mean, I mean, but how about you tell a story about the multiverse? Other realms ta than just Tamriel. Are you going to help me or just watch your time drift away like usual? Why would we be looking for a book on teas? We're here for Butterflies Among the Glade. Nisofra is really starting to get on my nerves. I knew she couldn't tell mortals apart, but I thought she at least had a mind for books. Does trian triangles get annoying? Which triangles? My associate and I are book hunters. We seek the tomes that are too well hidden for others to find and return them to their rightful places. Or we would, if Nisofra didn't keep forgetting which books we seek. Because I wrote it down. I'm not the first partner Nisofra's had. I was warned about this, but I didn't think it would be so annoying. Ugh, I just have to play along until I can introduce the paper as evidence and catch Nass off guard. Have you talked to her? She doesn't take being contradicted well. A new well. class. I, don't I haven't have tested the new class, sorry. Uh, Not here in the wilds. Seem, no. Seemed like powerful, I have been time. following other players too, that, way. Uh, that are, but I don't have I'm to like just this treatment either. still playing my old uh, Warden and trying to Temperament aside, build her to be a bit, bit more effective. She knows this realm but it, it, than uh, it looks go good. Uh, We've I mean, never searched more than a few days before finding the tome we're looking for. I want to learn even a fraction of what she knows. So basically, I have, I have seen other players to use the Arcanist skill and it, it looks pretty cool and effects are pretty pretty okay. So so uh, Apparently it, it's a powerful way to use, I take use it the you game. Eavesdropping. So you must have heard what I have to deal with She can't even remember which book we've been sent to find her mind is perpetually stuck on butterflies You question my memory. I could kill you for even thinking that I might be wrong. I know exactly which book we've been sent to retrieve. Wolfhound and Seabreeze is a classic. I... of course. I've never heard of that other book in all my years in Apocrypha. Me? Be led by that mortal? Never. That being said, I may allow her to retrieve that butterfly book. Maybe the humiliation of being wrong in front of all the other ciphers will teach her a lesson. She isn't. But you don't know. Maybe I'm testing her. And if I am, and her insistence on that dreadful tome is correct, then we will be praised and none will be the wiser. Yeah. I may have switched the titles of the books in my mind. Butterflies in the Glade yet? <laughs> really? Alright. I think my book's over this way. Okay, she, she alright. We found the entrance to the infinite panopticon. The ritual worked, Proxy. We located the entrance to the infinite panopticon. At least, until it moves again. Let us head inside and try to stop the hidden kindred from locating the secret they seek. I know not which of our enemies have entered the panopticon, but the ritual latched onto both the hidden entrance and the other half of the Fulcrum Obscura. They must have used the relic to find this place, not unlike how we did it. Legends say the Panopticon is an endless labyrinth of rooms and passages, but nothing inside conforms to reality as we know it. It protects some of Hermaeus Mora's most precious secrets, and powerful guardians roam its lengths. Shall we proceed? 
Prepare yourself, Proxy. We should both be able to withstand a short visit to the Panopticon. But that does not mean we can ignore the dangers. Steal your mind and harden your will. When you are ready, let us head inside. We know they seek details concerning a lost dream. And they plan to use a rite from a black book to recover it. Yeah, so far this uh, has been really, really where it is pretty good uh, lore-wise. Uh, elaborating a bit, but the basically using the stuff we already knew about uh, Arubis and uh, Hermes Mora and yeah, well, stuff that Vivek <laughs> writes in his books. They believe so. And with the Fulcrum Obscura, they can sift through the infinite secrets locked within until they find the exact one they require. We must get inside and prevent them from accomplishing that. Teleport somehow vanished. We have entered the infinite not. Where are the catalogs? That hunger is it native to Apocrypha. See how it shifts between the layers of reality? Attack while it's shifted. And its energy can power my ghost sight. Yeah. Okay, that there's a hunger. Yeah. Let me the focus to use my ghost sight. Apply my ghost sight to attack this position. Okay, so Mel is giving us some. Scale up here. Keep your guard up until you've got your footing. I focus my ghost sight. My ghost sight can defeat this enemy. Not bad, not bad. But without my ghost sight. You probably wouldn't have survived that. Careful, Proxy. I sense corruption in the air. Right. This malignancy allows the corrupted guardians. You destroyed one sensor of corruption, but I sense more above us. They carry the fulcrum of spirit through this door. Hermaeus Mora has set a guardian gaze to protect the way ahead. We must divert its attention to cross the chamber. The guardian appears rattled by those periite runes. Surprisingly easy task. See how the fulcrum vibrates? What we seek is here. Another eye. It looks like all the others to me. Have faith, diseased one. This eye contains the memory of the dream we seek. Then let's get this over with. I can't hide us between the layers of reality much longer. Ah, fate's mortals. I have no wish to harm you. Turn back and let us finish what we started. He's a big guy. They dare enter one of Hermaeus Mora's forbidden memories. We must follow them. Let me open a portal. Proceed there. carefully. Between the energy here and Light Crown's manipulation of reality, Laramil's portal could behave erratically. It's a green po portal. Good thing it's not red portal. I knew it. We're not where Laramil intended, and now she's missing. Spell casting should be left to the professionals. Off with you, switch! If this one doesn't get us there, I'm going to start making things explode. Finally! 
the Eye of Mora on the walkway above us. Quick! Drink a magic potion! Maybe we can learn that oh. from the list of things I can beat you at. Found something interesting to share? Finally. I mean, I haven't been really diligent on leveling up Miri. But it's, it, this is this is fine. This is fine. You're as transparent as I am. And look, there's Torvasart. We're in a memory of Hermaeus Mora, mortal. Here, no harm may befall us. I suggest we use this opportunity to confer. Ah. Huh. I wonder why he wants to talk. When dealing with matters of fate, meetings such as this are inevitable. Know that I am Torvasard, and know that we need not be adversaries in these matters. I simply seek an ancient dream, barely remembered. Lost knowledge, nothing more. Is that what Hermaeus Mora and his high elf lackey told you? Can you imagine any revelation that possesses such power? No. This is about keeping secrets, hoarding knowledge, stealing memories. The Maeus Mora, the great miser of oblivion. Then again, Hermes Mora is just keeping those memories. He's not actively using them. All I have is fragments of a dream. Even Vermina could not help me recall it. But we remembered enough to get us this far. Hermaeus Mora stole this knowledge from us. And I do not wish to harm you, mortal. To harm anyone. But I will learn the truth. The pompous mortal riddled with disease. The memory rejected him. We entered together, but I stand here, alone. Except for you. But worry not for Periite's priest. Blightcrown has skills. It should be a simple matter for him to return to Nern. I will continue my search. You, however, should turn back. Wandering the memories of a Daedric Prince is dangerous for one such as I. For you, such a journey will most likely prove fatal. I would hate to see fate's chosen reach such an ignoble end. Heed my words, mortal. If I learned anything as a Telvanni Magister, it's this. When a Dremora tells you to go right, you go left. Yeah. Let's see what this memory contains. A dream inside dream inside dream. Basically, Elder Scrolls universe is a dream, so... Prince Verminas, Hector This can't be as physical as anything else. Uh. I won't let you do this, Fate Forger! It is already done. You will forget this ever happened. Everyone will. It is the only way to preserve reality. Damn you, Mora! Damn! No! A spell to make all of reality forget. I can barely imagine. Come on. We need to find Torvisart. So current reality is the only one, or only possible, and it's only possible because. And now you know of Hermaeus Mora's grand betrayal. Once I restore that Mina statue, the process of restoring the memory will begin. I suggest you defend yourself, Mortal. Okay. Prince of dreams and nightmares. 
again with the fading. Back on your feet. Raven of Darkness. We all love hunger. that led to the loathsome action I was forced to perform. But I could not strip it from my own memory. And now that misstep has borne bitter fruit. <sighs> what did the Dramora tell you, Chosen? Mm, Torvisan spoke true. Forbidden knowledge and secrets are my prime concern. Much of what I hoard serves to protect all the realms of existence. This particular secret, however, must stay forgotten. Even this slight recollection threatens reality. Probably Godhead. Torvasard found a way to slip past the eyes that see all into the memory. He should have had no ability to access. And yet, here we are. He restored that which I destroyed. And now this recollection is no longer forgotten. The threads fray, but have not yet snapped. Torvasard and my enemies recall a fraction of the memory. But the most devastating secret remains locked away. Return to your allies. The situation can still be salvaged if you and Liramil work together. So basically they remember now that Hermes Mora removed some memory but they don't know what the memory is. Use this portal and return to Liramil's study. We will talk again soon. There you are. I was afraid you might have been lost in the void after my portal crash. When the opportunity to enter a place of forbidden knowledge was snatched from me, the frustration was nearly overwhelming. Oh, well. Tell me what you saw inside the memory, Proxy. Ah, the event that began this cavalcade of fate. Of course, such drastic measures must have been taken for good reason. The one who knows keeps referring to the unraveling of reality if we fail in our efforts. What else did you experience? With that level of power, Torvasad is clearly more than your average Dremora. Much more. De Daedric Lord. Does that mean the secret has been remembered? Have we failed? Shall reality begin unraveling all around us? 
then only some of the lost memory has been restored. The most dangerous portion of the secret must still be hidden. Very well. If you plan to honor your contract and still want to help save Apocrypha and Nern, I shall assist you as best I can. I would have it no other way, Proxy. We followed Hermaeus Mora's enemies from one end of Apocrypha to the other, and we learned what they seek. You have done well, and the one who knows wants to reward your efforts. Take this. Then, we shall see. What you described. How could Tovasad change a memory of Hermaeus Mora? How could he alter what happened so long ago? Such a power should not exist. This sensation. Bafflement. I do not care for it. Uh, technically, you could actually even effect, uh, have effect the dead princess to, through the shadow magic. Torvasard has allies as well. Master Shell Rennie, Vermina, and Periite. Blightcrown and the hidden kindred cultists. They seek to restore memories stolen from them by Hermaeus Mora. And from what you saw, Torvasard has started the restoration process. Yes, most puzzling. Torvasard's next step must involve the right Master Shell Rennie seeks to draw from Meln's Black Book. Return to Necrom and find Curate Gadain. See what Shelreni is up to. Meanwhile, I have other inquiries I wish to explore. Remember, as long as Shelreni possesses the Black Book, she can complete her rite. If they fully unlock this forgotten secret, multiple realms are doomed. I shall meet you at the bookshop in Necrom after I complete my investigations. Torvasad and Blightcrown could be anywhere. But Master Shell Rennie has roots in the Telvani Peninsula. If anyone can help you navigate the complexities of the Dunma Great Houses, it is Curate Gadain. Investigating Shell Rennie is our best option. Blightcrown and Shell Rennie concocted the dream affliction with the help of Vermina and Periite. It allowed them to avoid detection by shifting into alternate layers of reality. It even affected Mora's guardians. And we know they plan to improve it, if they can perfect their formula. What better way to steal the most dangerous secret in Apocrypha than from under the gaze of the one who knows? But if we can stop Master Shelreni and they cannot find the secret they seek, it shall not matter. Perhaps that is one of the possibilities I plan to explore. However, Torvasar demonstrated powers unheard of for a typical Dramora. He may have other abilities. I need to proceed with caution. And Blight Crown serves Periite, another obstacle. A cult composed of followers of Vermina and Periite, princes that usually work against each other, may be easier to uncover. I shall see what I can learn from my contacts among Hermaeus Mora's faithful. We will succeed, Proxy. We have to. This portal will return you to Necron. Master Shireni murdered me to avoid the scrutiny of the Assembly of Masters. The portal returns. I thought I recognized that wrinkle in the fabric of fate. I hoped Laramel would be with you. We have news. The Corpse Keeper is eager to tell you what he discovered. Oblivion forbid that I ruin his surprise. You should speak with him. Scrut and I uncovered the most interesting news. The Assembly of Masters learned of Master Shelreni's recent activities and has called for a conclave. They plan to strip her of her rank and expel her from the house. It's complicated. The Assembly of Masters consists of just their mouths. The actual masters rarely leave their towers, and never to meet with their rivals. A conclave, however, is a different story. The masters themselves are compelled to attend. Don't you see? When they convene the masters' conclave, Shelreni must be on hand to contest the charges. So, we know where we can find her and when. At Tel Hulan, the Tower Hall in Old Isra. As a curate, I think I can get us into the Conclave by claiming official Necrom business. 
House Telvanni prefers to stay on our good side, so they rarely ask too many questions of the Keepers of the Dead. Hear it or not, he'll never get into the Conclave bearing the mark of a Daedric Prince. Not without my help. Underestimate Sharani at your own peril. And do not think to just walk into a Telvanni stronghold reeking of Hermaeus Mora. Either Sharani's Daedric allies or the Conclave's own protections will spot you the moment you step across the threshold. Of course! Wasn't I the greatest magister of my time? If not for my desire for solitude, I would have been the Archmagister. Unfortunately, my spectral body isn't good for anything these days. You'll need to serve as my hands for this to work. Return to Telrendis. Around my tower, you'll find the components necessary to assemble a passable cloak of omission. Look for dried hoaxwort, a lamia scale shawl, and an illusion tincture of my own creation. I'll tell you more when we get there.